Magandang umaga Pilipinas and hello world! Ako pa si Ryan at welcome sa Cupcakes Ball! As you can see, I'm a big fan of the Marvel movies, especially the Black Panther movie. I've seen the movie three times. Three times! <laughs> I've seen the movie not only once. Ngayong araw na ito, I'll be teaching you how to make Black Panther Vibranium Cupcakes. How I made the Black Panther Vibranium Cupcakes is, first, I've used my easy chocolate cupcake recipe, but instead of using normal cocoa, I used vibranium. <laughs> no, just kidding. This is black cocoa powder. Check out the description box below for my easy chocolate cupcake recipe. What you're gonna need to make the Black Panther vibranium cupcakes are chocolate cupcakes, black and purple buttercream, heart-shaped herb made out of fondant, and the Black Panther mask made out of candy melts. The next step is to create your buttercream. You're gonna need black and purple buttercream. So today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make all natural black buttercream. Let's get started! What you're gonna need to make the black buttercream are two sticks of soft unsalted butter, 35 grams of vegetable shortening, 28 grams of black cocoa powder, one cup of sifted powdered sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and half a teaspoon of salt. The first step in creating the black buttercream is to cream the butter and the vegetable shortening on medium to high for five minutes. Bloop. Then we add our vegetable shortening and then we beat this on high for five minutes. Once the butter and the vegetable shortening is smooth, it's now time for us to add the black cocoa powder, the salt, and the sifted powdered sugar. And then we mix this on low for one minute. I've transferred my black and purple buttercream into 12 inch Wilson piping bags. Now we're gonna set this aside and then I'm gonna teach you how to make the heart shaped herb and Black Panther's mask. The first thing that you need to do is to knead the fondant until it is soft. And then we take our rolling pin, use rolling bands to even out the thinness or the thickness of your fondant. A heart shaped cookie cutter just like that. To make the heart shape herb more realistic, we use a sponge and a ball tool to thin out the edges. We do this slowly because you don't want to break the, the fondant apart. It's now time for us to transfer it to the cone. All right, so we wrap it around the cone with the pointed edges facing downward. We paste the other edge of the, of the heart using piping gel by Wilton or you can use pasteurized egg whites or you can even just use water. The next step is to curl the edges with your fingers. You do this by lifting up the edges ever so slightly. And we let this sit for about 10 minutes to dry. I've searched everywhere and I can't find any mold for the Black Panther mask. So what I did is I made my own out of this action figure. I will bring you to justice. Make sure to check out the description box below. I'll be leaving down links for the products that I used to make the Black Panther mold. Making Black Panther's mask is not really that difficult. What you do is you take your silicone putty mold and then put it on Black Panther's face or mask. I filled my silicone mold with melted candy melts and then I freeze it for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we take out the mask by pulling it apart and then... Pipe a swirl on your cupcake starting from the middle working your way out and then back to the middle. Now I'm gonna take Black Panther's mask and the heart-shaped herb and place it on the cupcake. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe. See you again next week.